A 76-year-old sprinter, 65-year-old cyclist, and a 95-year-old who's run the Boston Marathon five times. Those are just some of the athletes coming to town for the National Senior Games. And today, I had the chance to talk to one athlete as crew set up inside the convention center. It's almost registration time, and one athlete didn't come to Pittsburgh for the views. I'm going to win. I promise myself, so it doesn't matter what. Zbigniew Slobicki just arrived from Michigan after qualifying for the National Senior Games. He is the fastest speedwalker in his state, but that's not all. I do cross-country skiing. I know powerlifting. Actually, I'm three times the strongest Michigan senior in that lifting. This 73-year-old is just one of more than 10,000 athletes who qualified in their states for the chance to strut their stuff in Pittsburgh. Our athletes range from novice ability all the way up to ex-Olympians and NBA players, so it's a wide range of uh, abilities. Sue Lavachek wants Pittsburghers to know all the competitions are free to watch, from track and field to basketball to pickleball and cornhole. The only requirement to compete, be older than 50 and be good. Well, the health and well-being of our demographic is is really great and people are active it's not just the physical part it's the social part of it as well and the camaraderie between the athletes which is great. Zbiggy is a good sport he even gave me some pointers before leaving me in the dust. It's fun and all but this is Zbiggy's second chance on life. Two years of cancer therapy I almost died and this was the best diet ever 30 pounds lost in three months. This was the toughest because I couldn't eat for three weeks. He's taken on 30 guys, popping those hips, and focusing on his breathing. But I, I did very intensive training, so mm -hmm. I, I know the results from last two years. Mm -hmm. So that's given me a base that I have good feeling that I'm going to win. Zbiggy did his research, okay? <laughs> the convention center will host six of the 19 sports, including basketball, cornhole, pickleball, shuffleboard, table tennis, and volleyball. And we're going to post the other venues and how you can check it out over on our website. This is going on, by the way, for 12 days, so you do have plenty of time to check it out and maybe get inspired to hit the gym yourself. I will say this about uh, Zbiggy. Zbiggy. Uh, he has a real economy of motion. Yeah, like it's impressive mm -hmm. the way he the way he does those steps. Mm -hmm. uh, you looked great too, <laughs> but you're just you know you're not competing at that level. Yeah, I mean he said maybe by the time I'm 50 I could be kind of good. He that's kind of what I'm hoping. For. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I also wasn't dressed for uh, speed walking today, so I, I was you know at a disadvantage. Okay. Excuse. <laughs> no, no, that's legit. <laughs> you was you nice. know what? You were brave to try it, yeah. and yeah. like I said, you were you gave it a good run. Yeah, I or tried. A good walk. Yeah, he said he's a former sprinter, so he said power walking he highly recommends because it's easier on your joints. You just sure. gotta pop your hips. I love his confidence too. I mean, oh, I yeah. think he's is he psyching out competitors? Uh, yeah, I think, and he already is psyching me out. He's texting me saying like, <laughs> "When's this airing? I need to see." <laughs> oh. He needs to see his story. He said. <laughs> so I'm like, but, calm and, down. And by the way, I will crush you. <laughs>